hi good day to everyone today we will see how to backup and format and restore traffic node using configuration file first we will see how we can uh, take backup of a configuration file from a working traffic node uh, using the bulletproof FTP server uh, which is also known as BFTP server so first we need to take a look at some things like that if link is working if we ever we need to format or like delete all the configuration from traffic node we should have all the data of this traffic node it is better to have screenshots also uh, just to use in on safe side uh, like we see what are the vlan settings we see the basic any configuration which contains the any and dcn IP now I see that one Mac is uh, coming for uh, this uh, 201 VLAN so I will see that which direction this Mac is coming this Mac is uh, learned from source port 1 which is LAN DCN port so this means that this traffic node actively has no traffic and it is also not visible so we can do our uh, next uh, procedure on this uh, we will first need to take the backup of uh, this traffic node just to stay on safe side uh, this is the basic uh, configuration of uh, BFTP server we we have user account as anonymous and also the directory we set uh, where all the data is present or where we need to take the backup so we go to uh, site ID and configure so first we need to close all the connections of this uh, BFTP server and uh, again uh, we will enable all the connections back again so now we will go to we select our local sftp server this is the this is the ip address of my laptop actually i select operation backup uh, just let me show you what how can i see my ip address of my laptop okay 10.0.0.2 is my ip and dot one is the gateway so dot zero dot two will be the ip which i will select for my laptop so that all the data can be downloaded in my laptop and also can be restored in my laptop so I click save and now I will see that some lines start counting here these lines means that uh, traffic node is like ML or TN is now connected with my laptop and trying to save some configuration file which I which are like process of taking backup and now I see that uh, some lines are saved uh, like uh, some configuration file is saved this configuration file contains everything every like small bit of information including the site name the traffic node name the basic any settings the IP uh, like OM IP gateway and uh, VLAN DC and and all the IP transmission like VLAN and radio link information like uh, power setting frequency and each and everything uh, is contained in this configuration file so now we are finished finished with this uh, backup backup step we have saved the backup of this traffic node our next procedure is to format this traffic node to make this traffic node as we received from factory so we log in using the CLI and password is whatever password uh, set on your uh, traffic node and now I see this is ZRI 570TN1 so there is one simple command to erase all the configuration present on this uh, traffic node please note that now these days traffic nodes will not be connected uh, CLI uh, by putting uh, software we have to uh, like uh, use uh, built-in CLI tool of Minilink uh, we can see alarms using show space alarms command in the CLI the command to format the traffic node is erase space startup dash config and uh, this command is taken and next command is node called restart restart space node underscore code this command will give a restart in the to the traffic node and once traffic node uh, is back up again it will not be zri570 but it will be something else uh, it will be having the IP which it got from factory like all the user data is deleted from this traffic node and we can say that this is received from the factory it will be in this condition that we can say that it is received from factory 
so we will see from here that if LAN connection is available this means that uh, traffic node is still up it will take some time now we see that it is uh, disconnected uh, this means that process of uh, formatting and uh, like uh, factory setting process is started and also I can see that this window is also not going to, uh, like uh, connected I see this uh, this button for connect is now available this means that it is disconnected now Uh, this will take a long time so I will make pause of the video so that uh, video size is less it is still disconnected and uh, I will make some more pause once I see the LED on the traffic node is green then I will uh, I will connect back now I see LED on the traffic node is green but I am not able to connect using this windows because this old window was a configured traffic node ZRI 570 and it is not connecting uh, because uh, there was some security implemented on this traffic node so it was not connected I will open another new window and uh, then try again to connect again okay there is wrong authentication or privacy protocol uh, I need to change this SNMP privacy to none because uh, this DES pri privacy set was set once this traffic node was working on a network and it was active but now this traffic node is new just received from factory so it will not be having any security so we need to put this SNMP privacy as none so it will be connected back again ok window is gone but new window is not opening I think we have to open another window okay let me maybe this is some bug that it is not maybe. okay we will we will try by CLI also see that now this uh, traffic node name is 192.168.0.1 it is no more ZRI570 it, this is now a factory received traffic node now we can see that what happened to this traffic node last time it was uh, restarted uh, by management cold restart by management and it was it became up uh, six minutes ago uh, all detail uh, we can see using the command show space version still we are not logged in so I will open another window and try again I hope we log in now LAN connection is enabled this and it is uh, like transmitting receiving some bits is this means that uh, we are going to get a connection sooner inshallah this old window will not connect because old window window was a encrypted connection okay there it is we are now logged in and we can see that our traffic node is no more ZRI 570 but it is TN 192.168.0.1 we can also see that there is no data no site name no basic any setting or visibility setting or gateway like anything we don't see any uh, configuration in this traffic node now so now uh, to so like we reach on this situation that we have backup uh, our backup and we have we have like new traffic node now we need to restore it uh, to a configuration file which we received from another traffic node uh, remember that this purpose this uh, method can be used for replacement of a traffic node also so uh, we see here that uh, the last backup we had was uh, tn dot and ip so we will copy this name uh, it's, uh, up to like uh, date so that uh, we see that uh, how many how many backups are there in our ftp server so we will go here browse and uh, see that if uh, BFTP server is able to get access into my laptop and it is actually searching for the files for the files we can see here that there are some files uh, like uh, browsing in my lap laptop okay 
now i will paste the file name which i copied from the ftp server because i know that these files were pasted uh, in my laptop by by bftp so this is at 4 pm this is 409 and this is 403 so this 409 is the file which i need i will select and i will apply this apply feature will show me that what was the ip which was at time of this backup it will also show me what are the cards working and also what else configuration is available like what were the slots of the mmu if mmu model was mmu 3a or 2h uh, we can see that if there if configuration file is from another traffic node we can see at this part that we are not loading the correct configuration file furthermore it also has the date and time function we can also have idea that if uh, we are restoring this file is how much old so here i will go down okay here i can see that mmu 3a on slash 2 and 3 and only one pfu and backplane and npu only that's it i will click save and uh, now we can see there is restore finished option and node is restarting now all the data is taken by node and node is now restarting once it will come back up again it will be again zri 570 it will no more be 192-168-0-1 it will take around uh, five minutes because this is a complex procedure so it will take some time but it is very simple and very easy to restore the node to another uh, place I will just make some pause so that uh, I can save the like, uh, duration of this video. I can see that it is now uh, connection is enabled. This means that I can log in into my traffic node again. I will try to refresh this, but it is not opening, so I will open another window. Just to check, old window is also not connecting. So I will put the password. Username is always same, control user, or we can also use admin user or view user, whatever is required. Okay, wrong authentication or privacy protocol. So SNMP privacy we cannot use because this node is again working. Now it is ZRI570, so we need to put the required protocol which is DES. We can also log in using CLI and see that our beloved node is back up again. Our test bench node actually. And we see all alarms back up again and ZRI570 also. Uh, I am logged back in again. Just now about 4 minutes ago this traffic node became up. And all the configuration is there. So guys this is the procedure to format and restore of the traffic node. We can use this procedure to, to like change the traffic node, change the NPUs or like any procedure which requires uh, of uh, like format and like format and uh, reconfigure configure or any similar steps we can uh, use to do similar kind of works. Okay thank you for watching video.